Hello and welcome to the Power BI Core Visuals Vision Board. My name is NJ and this is a Power BI dashboard that comes from the Power BI Core Visuals team in an effort to improve collaboration and transparency to the Power BI community. This dashboard consolidates multiple channels of feedback, comments, and requests into a single comprehensive resource, and it will allow the community to see what's planned for the future. Now I'll be walking you through how you can get the most out of this vision board and how you can actually participate in shaping the future of Power BI visuals. Navigating the vision board is actually very straightforward. You can see that there is a navigation hub, epic ideas, and a visual pane, which I'll go through. But before we start, one thing that I need to point out at the very beginning is that there is a disclaimer at the bottom of the visual pane, which is very important. There are a lot of really cool visualizations here, but this is not a vision of the final product. This is more like a representative guide to conceptualize what these features might look like in the future. This is really important because one of the things that we want to do is manage your expectations while the actual visual might look amazing, this might not be the final product that we get inside Power BI. And with that, let's look back at the navigation hub. At the very top is the main category, Visual Insights. And below that, it has a visual category, which includes things like call-out visuals, Cartesians, part of whole visuals, etc., as well as a subcategory, which shows specific visual elements, such as labels, axis, and legend for Cartesians, and if we go to style, for example, we might find something like conditional formatting and themes. If we select a visual element, we'll see the corresponding epic ideas, which are a set of related features. These epics are the results of the incredible work that the team has put in to combine fabric ideas, surveys, and community engagement to create an actionable roadmap. The navigation is meant to be easy and intuitive so that if you as a Power BI user want to see if a functionality is on the roadmap, you can easily find it yourself. Let's say, for example, I really love conditional formatting, but it's not everywhere I want it to be. And if I go to style and conditional formatting, I can see one of the epic ideas is full support to all controls. Now, this is really good, but the epic ideas also shows you the status. Let's go back to the card visual and you can see there are some check marks, some icons for you to be able to see different statuses of the actual epic ideas. These icons are meant to be very easy for you to understand simply at a glance. Completed is a check mark, under development is a bullseye, and pending just means that there's nothing there. This information is actually expanded inside of the visualization pane. At the top of each page right here, there's a space for a progress bar. The progress bar is really important. As you can see, it has different icons also to explain some statuses. But the most important thing is that there is a lineage of items. The icons that are being used inside of the progress bar is locked, pending, under development, and completed. And this begs the question, why would a specific development item be locked? This is actually because development for some features are dependent on others being completed first. It basically means that technically you could build actionable cards first, but it would take a lot longer than if we built these other items first. As a result, we can see that actionable cards depends on tooltips, the combining tooltip types. If we navigate to interactivity and check on combining tooltip types, we can see that this item is currently locked. That's because it is dependent on tooltip values control to be built first. Tooltip values control is available for development, but actually has no icon on the Epic ideas. So you can see that even if it's available, it's still pending and no work has started as of yet. Now let's keep going and see the other parts of the visualization pane. There is a description as well as the representative image, please remember the disclaimer, as well as a list of the features. Each feature has a specific status, and if the status is completed, you might have a link to the relevant Microsoft Learn documentation, which is pretty cool. The feature status is at the end of this hierarchy, and you can see that if all of the features for a specific epic is completed, then it has the completed check mark. But for something like small multiples for cards, which was recently put into preview, you can actually see that some items are completed, but some items are under development and others have not started development yet. 
Now let's talk about how this can help the Power BI community find their voice. What the team has built is a tab here for fabric ideas. These fabric ideas are all ones that relate to the specific epic, the specific set of features that we see here. And the total number of votes that we see on a specific epic is the cumulative number of all of these different fabric ideas. One call out that I need to make is that as of right now, if you have a new idea, the best way to communicate is with this button right here. Every single epic has a click to vote button right here, which will navigate you to the epic idea. Epic ideas are representative of the entire feature set of the epic idea. So it's actually a much better way to communicate to the team if you add a comment in the epic idea for any new ideas or features that you might have. This is because there's so much feedback. This is a good thing, but the team is manually recording and organizing the existing ideas. So they're limiting new ideas to spend more time sorting out what they already have. Essentially, what that means is please don't create new ideas for the Power BI visualizations team on the Fabric community website because those are not going to be considered currently. But if you're a Power BI developer and you have a specific feature that you want to see in Power BI, you think something is missing, please take the time to vote and comment. This absolutely does influence whether or not the team is going to build this first. However, it's not the only deciding factor. This is more of a guideline for the community to let the Microsoft team know this is what they would like to have next, which is very, very important. Now, if you've actually voted, it's great and we really appreciate it. But if you are a little shocked that it isn't automatically updating these figures, don't be concerned. It only refreshes once a day. One thing that I'd like to draw your attention to is to answer this question. Why has something like this, which only has a few, maybe even one vote, been built over something like this, which has several thousand votes. Usually there can be a multiple number of reasons, but the most common ones are that either it was something that another high priority item was dependent on, or it was a quick win that didn't require too much time that the Power BI team wanted to release to the public quickly. Now I'm going to leave you with one final note. If you're on LinkedIn, please use this link and you'll be navigated to the Power BI Core Visuals webpage. Please consider following the team here because they do release some really interesting articles that accompany any new visualization releases. And that's it. I really hope you learned a little bit more about what the Power BI Core Visual team has planned and hopefully you're as excited as I am. Thanks for watching and take care.